Witam was bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku Kaczych Opowieści. Tym razem został nam, z tego co kojarzę, tylko księżyc. A więc, w drogę. It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Hop, hop, and away! <laughs> O, tym razem nie ma lunchpada. Przynajmniej nic się nie spierdzieli. Gosh, Mr. McDuck! I've never been to the moon before! Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton. You're a natural. <laughs> Now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. Uh, McDuck. Okay. It's my latest invention oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That, Gyro, is a matter of opinion. <laughs> Now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And did it take a feather brain like you to believe her? Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look! Here's someone who can give us directions! Hello? Mm-hmm. Ah, Mr. McDuck! <laughs> We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Właśnie miałem pytać, dlaczego oni sobie tak latają bez... Dlaczego oni sobie tak latają bez... Bez jakiegokolwiek... Tutaj... Eee, co ja na czym jest skończyłem? Bez jakiegokolwiek ubranka... Się okazuje, że mają po prostu gumę z oksygenem, który umożliwia im. Umożliwia im oddychanie w kosmosie. na statek wejdę. Sobie tutaj przejdę. Ale tych ziomutków tu jest taka porwo. No. Chyba niekoniecznie sobie przejdę. <laughs> No tak delikatnie mówiąc, nie wyszło. To raczej nie przejdę. No, ok. Myślałem, że jakaś grawitacja tu będzie w ogóle. Ale okazuje się, że jednak nie. Hmm. 
Czyli chyba jednak będzie trzeba poprzeskakiwać się na tej albo i nie lasce. Jakoś otworzymy. Przecież już nie takie rzeczy się robiło w tej grze. Jak się posłuchał, nawet nie zaprotestował. Robo robodaki się znalazły. Czy tutaj gdzieś też będzie jedno serduszko do zdobycia? Spory ten statek. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon bolt.
Chyba tak w kamieniołomie. Dobra, ja byłem tam na prawo, czy nie? Nie, nie byłem. Seriously? Pieniążki dla Magda Kawcenia. Zanim na samą górę pójdę, to jednak sobie tutaj zobaczę, co mamy. Nie wiem jak ona się przedostaje w te miejsca, ale... Masakra. Dobra agentka. Udało się. Tam już byłem przecież. Oh, 
Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Oh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. Ja mam nadzieję, ja, że nie jest za późno. Jeszcze sobie coś zobaczę. Dobra, tutaj na pewno nie, bo tu już byłem. Właśnie tu nie byłem chyba. No i właśnie pytanie brzmi, czy ja sobie też przeskoczyłem tam po prawej stronie, bo z tego co kojarzę to nie. Przydało tylko życia. Where in luck? I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <coughs> Gyro, I uh. I think I left my favorite two dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't he worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Sky, I'm useless. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade, so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. Come on. Gizmo tak tak użyteczny, że. Aha, i to. Gdzie on jest?
Ja to wolę ostrożnie, bo zaraz znowu spadnę. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said that green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, oh, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, <laughs> Gizmoduck. No? No. <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you dish. How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> well, thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck. Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmoduck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! That's right, eh, Magduck? Dziwna sytuacja, bo nie znalazłem ulepszenia życia. O, już znalazłem. I osiągnięcie wpadło za maksymalną ilość ulepszeń, oczywiście. Fantastycznie. O! Mirth and be merry! I made it here first! No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Look at Warhammer of his coven. Great Scott! I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. No i teraz zapewne... Wow. Nie mogę go dotknąć. Jest jakoś specjalnie ciężki. Mocny ten szczur. O, i pozamiatane. 
giant moon rat or no giant moon rat. Nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green that's going to make me. <laughs> Rzeczy samej. We did it, boys! All five treasures are mine! Ha 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 Boys? <gasps> Sorry, McDuck, but your meddlesome nephews are a wee bit tied up at the moment. Lintheart Glomgold, you put the Beagle Boys up to this. Guilty as charged, Scroogey. I've been the world's second richest duck long enough, but these treasures will soon change that. <laughs> oh, tell your goons to release my boys. Not till you fork over that last treasure. Don't do it, Uncle Scrooge. Don't do it. The way I see it, McDuck, you're not in much of a position to argue. Yeah, I... You drive a hard bargain, Glumgold. Take it, you filthy cheat. <laughs> Flintheart Glumgold, the richest duck in the world. How does it feel to be number two, Scroogey? <laughs> oh, just say it, Magic a dispel. dispel. Oh, <laughs> it's so rude of me to drop in unannounced. What are you doing here, Magica? Oh, quick, somebody sound the alarm! Duckworth, Mrs. Beagley, call the Pentagon! Sell me stock and bonds! Not so fast, Scrooge! Wagaroody, Uncle Scrooge! I can't move! Me neither! Now I know how a statue feels! <laughs> ah, greedy old fools! These treasures are far more valuable than money! And just what do you mean by that? You find secrets hidden inside old painting, yes? Painting of Drake Von Gladstone, also known as Count Dracula Duck. These treasures are part of spells to summon him. Bah, what rubbish. You will see, with power of Dracula Duck under my command, I will rule the world. Jak się nażre tego sera, to na pewno. Quiet, piggle boys. <laughs> now I take leave. Bring number one dime to my home and mount the Suvius in 24 hours, or little nephews will become Dracula for Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> Jezu, nie mógł być z kimś o takim śmiechu. O oh dear, sometimes I still get carried away. The lousy, no good so and so. I stole those treasures fair and square. This is no time for belly aching, Glomgold. I've got to save those boys. Ha, forget it. That she devil's long gone. You can't catch her now. Maybe you're right, Flinty. Uh, that leaves me no choice. How about a deal? You help me get the boys back, and you can keep the five treasures. Ha! Without your dime, I'll become the richest duck in the world, and you'll be nothing but a shriveled up old has-been. <laughs> that dime's not worth ten cents next to the safety of my boys. Do we have an agreement? Are you joshing? It's a deal. You know what I think, McDuck? I think you've gone soft. You've let those pesky rugrats become a business liability. 
and I'm gonna be the richer for it. Oh, go soak your head. <laughs> O, Lunchpad się znalazł nagle. Now remember our deal, Flinty. Help me rescue the lads, and the treasure is yours. You keep up your end, and I'll keep up mine. No okay, w tym momencie sobie zakończymy, że tak powiem, ten odcinek. W kolejnym będziemy kończyć tenże tytuł zwany kaczymi opowieściami. Do zobaczenia, moi mieli.